All right, so while cherry blossoms may take the top spot in our area, tulips come to mind for many when we think of springtime blooms. The majority of these colorful flowers come from the Netherlands, the global exporter of tulip bulbs. It's just one reason why the Dutch ambassador to the U.S. decks out uh, the home in tulips every year. News 4's Juliana Valencia takes us inside. More than 15,000 tulips adorning the halls of the Dutch ambassador to the U.S.'s residence. A beautiful backdrop against more serious topics to be discussed in a series of events during Dutch tulip days. And we try to combine beauty with the cause. Berhita Tesler is the new Dutch ambassador to the U.S. Yeah, so this represents sustainability. These are native plants. She says this year's themes revolve around believed shared values between the Netherlands and the U.S. Sustainability, innovation and freedom. We celebrate freedom because we should not take it for granted. And we only have to look at Ukraine to see what freedom actually means. This nearly 10 foot tall 3D printed replica of the Netherlands Carillon is meant to represent freedom. It's made from recycled waste and plant based materials, hence sustainability. The real one. Not too far. At Arlington National Cemetery was gifted from the Netherlands to the U.S. for support during and after World War II. Over the next few days, the residents will host hundreds of visitors like elected local and federal politicians, entrepreneurs and the invited public with these themes in mind. Like this area over here highlights native plants as a way to be more sustainable because they require less water and fertilizer. We'll uh, talk about innovation during these days uh, when it comes to, for example, semiconductor industry uh, and cybersecurity. Those are uh, also, that they, they, they demand a lot of innovation in order to protect ourselves. Once Dutch tools Tulip Days ends, all these thousands of tulips will be donated to various charities around the city. At the Dutch Ambassador's residence, Juliana Valencia, News 4.